What's going on, everybody? This is SoCal's resident redneck, the Backwoods Brawler, Hunter Freeman, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Hearing and reviewing the latest shows from WWE, AEW, New Japan, and interviewing all your favorite wrestlers every Saturday and Wednesday on YouTube and CastBox. I am your host, James J. with Coleco Yachts, who's going to be a little bit late tonight. Mitch Mayhem, who's on time today. Hey, uh, uh, shut the fuck up. Hey, uh, what's up, everybody? And Scooter Dust. Nothing, nothing is impossible. And I do nothing every day. There you go. It's uh, a, yeah, I was being sarcastic. But yeah, go ahead, sir. It's a great day for wrestling. It's a great day for wrestling men. Last week we interviewed Hunter Freeman, which was an incredible, just an incredible guy and somebody I think we're going to see a lot more of in the future on maybe, you know, AEW TV. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when, you're, when you're essentially the apprentice of uh, one of the most revered uh, talent to never be signed by any of the big companies, that, that, that's saying something. Uh, of course, uh, Hunter Freeman is the, I, I guess, apprentice Padawan for all you Star Wars nerds on games uh, out there. Hey. Uh, and, uh, but um, he's the uh, apprentice yeah, apprentice of B Boy. Hey, real real quick, if you want, like I'm just saying, with his last name and everything, they have a natural storyline ready to go with him being like the good stepson or or lost long stepbrother of Maxwell Jacob Friedman. <laughs> uh, except his name is Freeman. Oh, I thought you said Friedman. My bad. Okay, <laughs> I, I thought I heard Friedman. I obviously don't know who the guy is. That would actually be a cool little coincidence. That yeah. actually, that actually, would be, that actually would be. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I apologize if you're watching this, Hunter. I, I haven't met you. So. <laughs> next, uh, next week we have Jesse Nolan's on, and you know that's such a stark contrast from Hunter as she's just beginning her career, but still yeah. an excellent, an excellent view on what it's like to start your your career in the pandemic era of wrestling. I highly recommend this one. Uh, the week after that, 27th, we have Dio Ivory, the two-time champion, which is it's definitely one of those interviews that you just got to listen to. Dio is an incredible human being, and we were so happy to talk to him. And, and 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 definitely, if you're um, if you're a ninety, if you're a nineties kid, yeah, you you're gonna want to listen to that. And the one following, dropping after that on the third. On February the third, we have waves and calls. Jalen Gray, Grandin, and uh, Trayvon Jordan. Our first ever tag team, and you definitely don't want to miss that as well. It was a Jalen Brandon and Trayvon Jordan, just in case anybody is going to try to misquote us. Correct. Trayvon Jordan. Really? Really? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> now that we're done putting ourselves over, it's time oh to God. go well, with... I Come mean, on, the- my biggest. I'm sorry, but I just gotta say, my biggest fear is an idiot saying, "Why are you talking about?" I'm not gonna say the actual name because that would be dis- that would be just disrespectful. But I, I can, I know there's just some idiot out there who will get that confused. <laughs> you know, your new resolution, New Year's resolution, should have been to not listen and give a fuck what dumbasses think more. But anyway, go ahead. Sorry. I think that should just be I, a, a resolution in life. <laughs> I mean, I mean, sorry. Then, then, I'm sorry. Then, then I wouldn't care what I think about myself. Uh, come on, bro. Don't put yourself down. 
coming out of the news this week, um, maybe the biggest bit of news, Drew McIntyre, yes. WWE champion, has COVID. A little bit of the COVID. Uh, tested positive. There's and there's that distinction. You got to make that distinction. Speaking of wrestlers with the COVID, uh, yeah, Jericho revealed that he had it back in September. And now he's got the antibodies. <laughs> a, a lot, a lot of people had it back in uh, in 2019. Um, yeah, and and they're just, just coming to learn about it uh, now. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people had it at the end of 2019. Really, I didn't hear about it like until early January. Uh, my my. Uh, oh, I know it was son, around. Yeah. Just, I didn't know it was my, here. Yeah. My son had it in December 2019, and I believe you. I'm just um, it turns out a couple of my family members, uh, and I know one of my uh, my my aunt is uh, currently battling, and I believe she's on the mend. But uh, again, testing positive and having it, there, there's there, there's that real distinction there. Yeah, there is, because the tests aren't the, the best. So you think that this was just um, a He's false right. positive? Or... I, I, uh, I, no, I'm There's not... no way to know. Unless thank... you... know. Thankfully, yeah, he has no symptoms. But, yeah, you know... And they're claim... Now, they're claiming that McIntyre will be able to work the Rumble. Now... Honestly, I'm not sure if this isn't, you know, the man upstairs intervening. You, you're talking yeah. about God? <laughs> I heard uh, Manny was pushed back. And I thought that well, was because of that. Because, because we're getting Goldberg McIntyre at the Rumble. <laughs> and, I mean, unless, unless there's another guy upstairs that we don't know about. I don't know. Is Buddha somewhere in the middle? Somewhere in the trouble yeah, A man can pray. I mean, Vince McMahon is destroying wrestling, in my opinion. But anyway. But, uh, the, I mean, the blueberry is it's Paul Heyman who's responsible for Goldberg and McIntyre. So. How, how, is that, how is that possible? He's not in uh, a, a power position in WWE anymore. Yeah. It does, it, it's because he's not in a power position does not necessarily mean he he's in certain in people's ears. Ear. He's Paul Heyman. Exactly. He's always fucking talking. That's exactly. True. That's actually true. But, you know, <laughs> job. I mean, that's what does. not a good look that WWE, the champion, gets uh, corona, uh, tests positive for coronavirus. I mean, Moxley has kind of had something similar it, uh, last year. But he didn't and, and, and test positive. But, you know. A lot of us. Renee tested positive for it. Right. Yeah, I heard too. And she's it, pregnant. It, real quick, the only real way to, like, if someone had it and was asymptomatic and don't, like, literally that you don't know if you had it, the only way to literally find or legitimately find out is by going to a doctor and then checking if you have the antibodies. That's literally the only way. Yeah. Not another good look for WWE. A lot of their talent, um, their contracts are coming up um, very soon. As of oh. right now, not uh, a lot wait, of them uh, are signed uh, up. Real quick, Riddle wait, has not okay. signed yet. Uh, yeah, he's... Yeah, um, Ricochet has... Ricochet. Uh, is, is, no, Ricochet is signed until 2024. I don't oh, think did he sign is... an, wait, did he did he sign an extension? Because I heard <laughs> yep. that he hadn't signed. Okay. He's, I didn't hear uh, that. Uh, but perhaps even bigger than that, and we were spe we this was speculation last week, and now it's pretty much a realization this week, Jay White officially done with New Japan. 
He is no longer on the what? He is no longer listed as talent on the website. And he wasn't announced for uh, the New Beginnings tour of New Japan as well. Well, yeah, so, now we'll see if what you said is going to happen with Jay White going to – you said he would quit in the, or he would leave New Japan and that he would go to WWE. So one of those two have already happened. Let's see if the well, other two uh, drops. AEW is kind of making a play for him right now as well. Well, I would think all of the legitimate major wrestling companies would. He's Jay White. He's a free, uh, he's a hot free agent. So, I mean, but I, I just think right now, I think he would lean WWE. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, White is the hot the hottest free agent as of right now. If he's a free agent, yeah. yeah. Uh, after that, uh. For lack of a better person, for lack of uh, coming up with a better name, and if anybody can think of someone after that, Mar uh, Marty Scroll, 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 Scroll. Uh, we're off to a break. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Did you lose your, <laughs> you your train of thought? No, I was just off to a great stop. <laughs> you, you sounded like a talking squirrel, James. But anyway, I'll, 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 I'll. squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you, but I still. I no. Are you trying to do Kung Fu Panda? No, I was trying to do Doug. <laughs> it sounded like some Asian thing. Yeah. It did! You sound like you're trying to become Kung Fu Panda. You saw racist. No. So. My nephew's Korean. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> going back Get on. Him. Back on topic, you know. <laughs> w, Sorry. The, if a lot of the talent are kind of waiting and seeing if they could get better deals with, you know, AEW, Impact, Ring of Honor, etc., etc., it's not maybe the best thing to have such a hot free agent like Jay White available. And, you know, there's only so many wrestling companies that are going to want new talent at this point. I mean, AEW is not going to scoop up half of WWE's roster, right? If there were certain people available, I think they would, absolutely. I mean, not. it just depends. It's quality over quantity, of course. It depends who it is. I'm sure they won't pick up. Like with the uh, Exodus last April, they didn't pick up everyone. They picked up maybe a few names, like... Uh, but the Mero. revival came out of that, yeah, and then Mero, yeah. So uh, well, you know, the ones that the three that I've heard, you know, the big ones were, you know, Ricochet, Matt Riddle, <laughs> and um, Mustafa Ali. Who do you think? Uh, Mu Mustafa Ali. Can I be honest? I think Mustafa Ali's ego is getting the best of him, and he's like becoming kind of egotistical backstage and yeah, I think it's hurting him. Alright, just the way he comes off, I don't know. It seems like he's gotten more of an ego. And he's a smaller guy, so Vince looks that down on him immediately anyway. What's that you, Scooter? Judging how a talent acts backstage because of how his character comes across on television. I'd say that's a job well done. Okay, I mean the actual person himself because the actual person leaks out through the traveling and the. I'm just saying, you hear stuff, and it, unless he's living the character like MJF, and then if he is, then I give him kudos for real. I do. I love that shit, but I just don't think that's the case. Mm hmm. It's definitely an interesting it, situation. MJF does that shit amazingly. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the thing is, is that I don't, I I can't see Ali in AEW. No, I can't either. Or or Impact. 
I see him in Impact or uh, R R O H maybe. I think he would maybe get a big contract from ROH. I that more I, I I would think CMLL. I think ROH would want go him. for him. Why would CMLL want, want uh, uh, And why would he want to go south of the border? Why wouldn't he, if he could stay here, where he lives? Why would anybody go anywhere if they were? Well, if they have a, the just a valid of a money offer here. Like I said, ROH is going to offer you the same amount of money CMLO is, if not more. Most likely. But CMLO would, would probably be seen by more people considering... Yeah, but people that you're not going to frequent, that you don't need to watch you on American... They won't watch you on American TV or watch you elsewhere. Like It's just that one shot. They, they don't... They're not recurring fans. A lot of them. They like they they see a show and then like a lot of them aren't like diehard wrestling fans down in Mexico. I mean, I mean, Mexican people watch I mean, TV too. I'm so, okay. Yes, there's Lou, Lucha Libre fan. Of course, there's fanatics. I'm just saying, it's just I don't know. It's a culture thing down there that I've noticed. I have Mexican relatives. So. I don't know. I'm learning so much about Mitch today. He's so cultural. <laughs> I am, huh? Uh, another... I don't care. What? You got, you got a little piece of um, potential uh, main event impact on Impact's main event, uh, so to speak. Uh, Alex Shelley is being replaced in the Hard to Kill six-man tag against K. Omega and the Good Brothers. His replacement, TNA World Heavyweight Champion Moose. Moose. So it's now Moose, Chris Sabin, and Rich Swan against Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. I honestly, said bring Moose in versus Kenny. I said that last week. Honestly, you know, I think that's sure. more of an upgrade than Alex Shelley. I mean, uh, no disrespect to Moose no and the singles, to Alex. Yeah, Moose Alex is, is Moose. awesome, but... And, you know, yeah. Chris Sabin, as a singles wrestler, kind of underrated, I I feel, anyway. So, I think that just added a higher, a higher price for that match. What about you guys? It, it definitely evens things out a little bit. In terms of size, because now you have somebody that can effectively neutralize Luke Gallows, you know, and honestly, Moose, I, I, and I'll say it hands down, Moose does the best spear in the business today. That's uh, valid. I'll, I'll agree with that. It, the, the the man can deliver the move and follow it up and come out of it with a flip. I know. I say. Uh, I I agree. I think it's it's more, definitely one of the better spears. So yeah. What about you, Mitch? Do you think that Moose adds value to the match by replacing Alex Kelly? Uh, I was the one who said. He should he should be interjected against Omega last week. I brought it up, so yeah, I, yeah absolutely, this is an upgrade. I, it's they're flying by the seat of their pants with that. I think with Alex, you know, what happened? Did he get injured or what? Or was he just uh, yeah, I, taken from the match? Uh, he would be unable to uh, travel due to unavoidable circumstances. Okay, so it was a switch. Okay, so yeah. So they were switching it up. It, it, it should have been the original plan to use moves, in my opinion, but better late than never. And that's a great segue because Coleco Yats is joining us. What, hey, do? what up, Coleco? What up, what up, what up? We're talking about uh, Moose replacing Alex Sully in the six man match at uh, Impact Wrestling's paid preview, Hard to Kill. Your thoughts? 
Uh, to me, if it, if it works, it works. I mean, that's all you need to say. Eh. <laughs> if, it, if it works, it works. To be quite honest, it's going to be what, what happens with the rich swan thing. But that's what I'm more interested in. Because I feel like Rich Swan's about to get booked. But that's a whole other story. And we'll definitely cover that when we preview the show later tonight. <laughs> the way he said it. Book. <laughs> anyway. Uh, one of the other free agents that we didn't talk about, Dalton Castle, is, was released from Ring of Honor. Wow. Okay. He. I think that's a free, a hot free agent. If he, if when he gets, if he's still injured and gets over his injuries, I think. That's Honestly, a, I don't think it's some his injuries are something to get over. I think that's it's just something he has to live with at this point. You know, like five. But years is he ago, a liability? Right. That's at <clears throat> this point he's kind of damaged goods, unfortunately. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, Dalton Castle now it wouldn't have the impact of signing Dalton Castle four years five, ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, we've been going back and forward with, you know, who even who WWE okay. is interested, and in, you know, AEW and Impact with maybe a lot of new stars being uh, free agents, especially Jay White. What are the odds of Dalton Castle getting signed by one of those companies? Considering uh, everybody's might be in a wait and see approach with everybody being free agents. Uh, especially with ROH getting rid of him because of possibly being injury prone, I think that makes him a liability. I think it's going to be really hard for a company to pick him up. And if they do, I don't think they're going to want to pay him a lot. I think they're going to want to make sure that he's not going to get in there, sign, get in, and then break a boat, or, you know, get injured, and then sit out the rest of the time and collect a check. I, if anybody signs him to an active talent role... He needs to go personality, yeah. He it, needs it, 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 will, it will be AEW. Do you and, think they would... Yes, so, into um, a manager role, like a more of a personality-driven role. No, no, I, I, I in 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 ring role. If oh. W, if WWE signs him, they do what they did with the uh, Sanjay Dutt, and he's, he becomes a right. trainer. Oh, a trainer! Oh, a trainer! He's got he's got personality though. I mean, he can be used on camera for something. I mean, shit. I mean, I, I mean, Sanjay Dutt has had credibility. Yeah, I mean, I see where Scooter's coming from, but that does, you know, getting hired as a trainer isn't necessarily a bad thing because you yeah. know sometimes. But it kind of ends your active wrestling career if you yeah, don't well, want it to be. Uh, well, look at Adam yeah, Pierce uh, right now. He has a match. That's what that does. That yeah. actively ends your career, basically. That, what they're saying yeah. is you need to retire. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. Some right people now. take it that way. Some people take it that way. I'm just saying. Yeah, because we all thought when Adam Pierce signed that it was gonna be that it was gonna be you know his time, and the WWE just like didn't. I think WWE used Adam Pierce as. An example of their power to try and humble people, those who have made names for themselves on independent talent after realizing, you know, how much they, you know, screwed the pooch on EC3 and Eric Young and, and, and everybody else. Yep, pretty much. Well, when it comes to EC3, I think that's, and uh, Eric Young, I think that's definitely a conversation for another time. Because uh, uh, we could go all day with that. We can go to EC50. Oh, absolutely. Boo! Hashtag dad joke. What about, yeah, no shit. What about you, Coleco? Your thoughts on Dalton Castle being a free agent? It, it just. Uh, I remember when NXT wanted him, and then he said no. 
back in I, like what 2015 or something like that. Yeah, it was a while back before, right. like right before we, he got the title. Four or five years ago, like we were talking about. Yeah. So I mean, if anyone would have the patience of waiting for him to get better, it would be NXT. But isn't he like our age, like 35 or something? Dalton was supposed to actually come in before Joe. But isn't he older? Yeah. Like that usually weighs against people. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like but, uh, came in at 41. It shouldn't, but uh, hey, you're preaching to the choir. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, everyone's different. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, whoever gets him, it'll, it'll be a good talent. He was really good. It just sucks. I feel like he's got that Grant Hill syndrome where it was like <laughs> really, That's really good. But, he, but you like if you remember Grant Hill, Grant Hill was really, yes. really, really good. And then he got that one injury and he never was the same again. Like him and Penny Hardaway. Jersey in 97. Him, yep. him and Penny Hardaway. Those are like, yeah, he's he's of that ilk. And I'm like, damn. Just sucks. My my, my great was open it? teacher went to, uh, went to college Tussle with Grant. Is only thirty four years old. Wait, what? Don't yeah, thirty five. What do you mean only? I'm only thirty fucking six. That's the same age. The, yeah. But, but, and think about yeah. So he's not like you know. I'm just saying they uh, people I, I, in the mid thirties like us uh, were yeah. judged as in their twilight. No, nah, there, there's up. a. There's a different there. I, I'll put it this way: There's different levels to 34. There's a like there's a 34 <laughs> regular body, and then there's a 34 like Marine Corps body. I don't like, look 36. Marine wear. There's a 34 yeah. like football wear. There's a like it's different like, levels. I, Think about it. He's probably been wrestling since what 18. So that's that's 20 years of wear and tear, bro. Like, yeah, so, real quick, it shouldn't be universal scale. Like, everyone's got different genes. Go ahead, Scooter, sorry. Yeah, true. And, uh, so he's probably basically 68 at this point. Um, <laughs> Jeez, what? Yeah. Thanks for so You're calling me cheddar, 70? Fuck The cheddar biscuit. <laughs> so he's calling me 70. No, 72. Oh, um, fuck. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're 72. Get over it. Um... Where's my keys? And look in your hand, damn it! <laughs> my 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 parents are almost eighty. They haven't lost their teeth yet. <laughs> Most of them, anyway. But that's because that's because I have them on a lanyard. No, um, I only reason I kept I my know. brain is because it's in my skull. Exactly. Okay. Uh, I was gonna think. Yeah, the the, the the Supreme Court body. There's the Belushi. Uh, <laughs> what? what? The, the Belushi type of body where you, where you just don't give a shit. <laughs> mm, uh, that's more like the I'm trying to I'm looking for a party. <laughs> the Belushi body, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we're going off the rails here. Though. Yeah. Next, uh, next thing on the. On the new circuit, WrestleMania uh, 37 will be on the 11th of April. It will come from uh, Tampa Bay, I believe. God, yeah, I, I heard Tampa, Tampa had to really fight to get WrestleMania. <laughs> Well, what, what? Oh, wow! It's gonna be in some fucking broom closet with no one there. So fucking, who cares? It, it's gonna be taped. No one's gonna be there. It's not the usual spectacle that it, WrestleMania should be before the pandemic. No, they're, they're so, actually, actually, I got good word that they're planning on having fans. Okay, if they, but, that's that's gonna be a health disaster on them. Well, but it's gonna they, be they, limited. Are they yeah, the Super Bowl? I would think so. It's, going, are, are, it's because they're going with the like the NFL still, protocol. Still, you're still going to get are people they, infected. I think. Are, are they going to be stationary or are they going to be uh, you know rotating like <laughs> like they're going to be actual like fans that blow air? Right, because when you're yelling and screaming, remember particles come out of your fucking mouth. Even if you have a mask, they fly I'm, up and down, I'm, dude. I'm talking yeah. about actual desktop fans. <laughs> Oh, actual death. I'm talking about if you let people <laughs> yeah. in there, dude. I'm just yeah. saying, like, it's. It, I, mean, yeah, I, I, mean, it's I think it's a super spreader event I'm waiting to happen. I really do. I mean, I mean look at the family reunion after the oh, time nice. uh, won okay, the you know uh, championship. Here's a way they can have fans in 
they would have to literally have sectors of like 20 feet or so every 20 feet they have plexiglass and they have like a certain amount of people like two or three people within each like lane like they would literally have to do that well i mean it is a football field so i think yeah the, but that the, would be a lot of work still in money but well, they're they setting it up for the super bowl so i'll set it i'll set it, it like this on tampa whether, yeah. bay the super bowls in the tampa in tampa bay they're gonna mirror oh, what what the super bowl does that's the only reason they're that's the only oh. reason they're even being able to do it because the super bowl's in tampa bay too i didn't know super bowl was in tampa this year okay I mean, they I really had to fight really hard for it, but yeah, <laughs> the Super Bowl got a uh, Tampa got uh, Okay, Super that Bowl. joke's get already getting old. <laughs> but, Super Bowl live. You know, I you don't say, give up. Yeah, I don't want to hear about Super Bowl. My Niners didn't even make it back to the playoffs this year. Shit, when and they lost last year. But anyway, let's not even get started with the Falcons. <laughs> yeah, don't. Uh, yeah, but like the thing, yeah, anyways, this is not a football podcast. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, maybe it would be in their best in interest to do what Japan is doing and not have them verbally, the fans verbally speak their, uh, their mind. You know, the, in Japan, New Japan is doing, you could clap and stomp your feet, but you can't verbally shout or scream for. Bro, you, do you think Americans are gonna follow that after what happened last week? Do you really think we gonna follow the fucking rule? Do you really think? Right. <laughs> if, 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 if if we can, you know, show up in mass after a college football championship Yo, don't game. Don't say we. Oh, I thought you meant about the capital. Okay, sorry. No. Okay. I'm pretty sure Caligo was referring to Alabama. I don't, there's a lot of things that happened uh, this week. But uh, yeah, Alabama. Not only that, but Al I'm just as far as like following directions. We are not the 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 nation of following directions, bro. In fact, in fact, the, the nation United of States, conspiracy theories. I, 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 I believe we're being told yes. It is confirmed the U.S. is being told to go sit in the timeout corner. See, we look like the petulant child of the rest of the world. It, it, it's, it's deserved. Yeah, well, I can't go off on this. Never mind. Uh, and the most powerful nation is often the, the most petulant child. Let's, uh, let's kind of spoil it shouldn't be that way, but anyway, yeah. wrestling. Do you think nah, if, the, know. if, if the Super Bowl goes over well with fans and it's safe and things are good do you think that maybe there'll be more there would be allowed more fans for wrestlemania considering it's only a month afterwards or you know keep my in mind, already yeah you know keep opinion. in mind tampa bay was having fans in the stands during football season so i didn't hear anything like major then but how many how many what are we talking i was thinking what i think it was like 20 percent max i want to say exactly but it's I mean, twenty percent. That, that's like not even ten thousand people. That's not even five thousand people. But, but that's what I would expect anyway. I I, I would expect ten thousand. I don't expect it. I, I, eighty-eight thousand I mean, people. If we're talking, I mean, if we're talking, Raymond James Stadium, and no, and there are no seats on the field. Mm, what do you mean? They, like there's no ring no side, ringside seats, no seats on well, the no usually seat the, covering the, the, the sidelines only, have that covered off. No, only the ring is covering. Oh, the ring, the okay, 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 and the Titan Tron. All oh, the, the seats are actually in the stands. Like, oh, so for, like, they're not going to use a, a, a studio like they did last year. They're going to actually use Raymond James Stadium this year. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I thought about? I heard a story that they were gonna redo it just like last year. That's why I was like, "Oh, yeah." yeah. I thought you were talking about in Tampa. You said because, in Tampa. You didn't because, say in Ray J Stadium. Because they have to. Ray J Stadium is Tampa. in Tampa. Yeah, but okay. So are other buildings. I, Wait, I'm just saying. Yeah, and, and they have to be out of the out of Tropicana Field at the end of March. Oh, okay. I see. I okay. So wh wh where they're going to come from before that it also remains to be seen, Everyone's which is why I'm wondering if they're going to try and pull 
some live fans in for the week of the 5th for Raw and SmackDown. But man, like if it was hard to get into a show before, holy shit, like it's selective pickings now. <laughs> shit. Uh, by the way, uh, if anybody listening, if anybody wants to buy my um, my Thunderdome uh, spot for Monday Raw, I'm uh, I will I'm willing to trade for a PS5. Yeah, that's not happening. And possibly a PS6. But they're coming out soon. And everything, um, you know, obviously the, this news just came out, so it's pretty fresh. It could change by then, you know, just the world we're living in right now. Uh, right. Whatever does happen, we will cover it. Until then, uh, we are wrestling with Impact Wrestling's Hard to Kill preview. It's in a couple of hours as we record this. Um. Oh, we're covering Impact. Okay. I don't remember the last time we ever previewed yeah, this. I was just Impact about to say. Yeah. I don't remember the last time we I, covered Impact show. I don't think we ever did. I don't think we ever felt the need to. That's I think that that's a marker for impact, man. I think Wasn't it when so uh, didn't we cover when Rich Swan won the belt? See, this made, the Kenny real quick. I'm sorry, the Kenny Omega situation has made impact relevant once again. I mean, we have uh, reviewed a lot of uh, Del Peak previews, but I think this is the first time we uh, previewed one of them. Yeah. So we, we we when when something relevant ha- that you know, we thought is b- deemed right. like I said, we brought yeah. it up, but never I don't think if we could you know concisely actually covered an entire impact show from top to bottom because I don't I, watch impact yet. Let's face it. Seventy-five percent of us are probably not going to watch it. I'm talking I don't about. Watch 70, it. I'm talking about seventy-five percent out of us four. Oh no, fifty. Well, I'm one. I'm at least twenty-five. I know I'm watching it. I'm pretty sure Kuliko's going to watch it. Hold on, that's not to say that I won't in the future. That's just I haven't yet. But oh wait, wait that's wait. not right. Okay, okay, I'm wrong. No. I saw the no. Kenny Kenny Omega episode where he uh, came in with the bus. I did see that one. Hold on, let, let me call. Let me call the um the. FCC to uh, uh, come and arrest you guys for watching it illegally, and we're good. All what? right. Hey, man, don't be giving out my like, secrets, like, bro. Like a sheep pie's <laughs> really gonna freaking care. <laughs> and don't be, don't be, don't be snitching out there, bro. Or whatever his name stitches. is. Yeah. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll be the, it'll be the biggest pay-per-view gate Impact's ever had. A hundred bucks. He hasn't yeah, done see, his job for four years. I think he's going to start now with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Enough impact jokes. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah, anyway. Crazy Steve and Rosemary versus Tennille Dashwood and Caleb with a K. Who wins, Mitch? Oh, I say that again. Crazy Steve and Rosemary versus Tennille Dashwood and Caleb with a K. And that's crazy with two Zs. Crazy Stephen Rosemary, because I don't know who the hell that other dude is, honestly. <laughs> Caleb Conley. Caleb Conley. Oh, Ca- oh, Caleb Conley. Well, who, why did you? You didn't say Conley. Okay, I know because, Caleb Conley because he's Caleb with the K now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's stupid. Okay. Oh. But I know. Ca- yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. That changes things, honestly. Um. I think it'll be a good match, but I think Rosemary, the Rosemary side will still win, yeah. Scooter? Uh, and a quick note, uh, we actually overlooked this. The Rascals officially show up, go right to NXT, and are part of the Dusty Classic, now renamed MSK. Wait, is that a... Is that a fact? They, Are you announcing they, that? Or what? They, they, they that happened they, Wednesday. They wrestled. They they advanced. Uh, the Misfit. Uh, who? Specific? The Rascals. Na- Na- oh, the Rascals. The, I think it's so the Misfits. Yeah, yeah, the they are, and, and they are now. Wes Lee and. Ch- oh, Ch- what was it? Not, not Chaz. Um, ah, dang it. Uh, but, but it. But it's. It's. Zach, it's 
Zachary Wentz and uh, Trey Miguel. Uh, but as for Crazy Steve and Rosemary and Tennille Deathwood and Kill with a K, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Steve and Rosemary. Uh, Ro Rosemary is one of the few remaining relics, and I hate to use that word. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and finish, sorry. But, y yeah, it seems that usually in these situations, you know, it's, Rosemary usually picks up the win. Um, I, I can't, I can't ever get behind Tennille Dashwood ever again. <laughs> So, well, can I ask why? What specifically? It, it it seems like every time there's an attempt of like her having a career, it just crashes and burns. Oh, like I false mean, starts. I, I mean, the 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 the, the WWE like Kaylee, redid Kylie it. Ray. The WWE redid it with Carmella and succeeded. True. Well, um, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. I don't think Carmella is really so, that much better. But but but, but 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 Rosemary and Steve. Kaliko. Damn man, that's how you feel about Emma. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I loved Emma, man. I'm gonna go with her. Emma. I'm, She's talking about Daniel Dashwood. I know it's Emma. Oh, uh, it's, it's the person and, who can write, but they're different people, different characters. And, that's Emma, Emma with, with the, two M's. Emma with the. <laughs> I didn't like Emma. I thought Emma was dumb as hell with the boopy bop of the bubbles. Oh, that was but stupid. I love that. I love that stupid dance. I was, yeah, I it, it. it was stupid. It, 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 it was, was naturally stupid. like stupid, like because she was a bad dancer. It was funny, but after a while, it gets just lame. That but, shit was over, like Rover. And uh, to me, it was just lame. That's just my opinion, though. Obviously, I'm gonna go Emma because she needs something to kickstart, and why not be? Rosemary. What does Rosemary got to prove? What the fuck else has she got to do? I mean, she's well, pretty I mean, pissed off that somebody still shot her husband. Her, well, her fiancé. Uh, Johnny Bravo. Yes, I mean, we did have a murder happen. In <laughs> yeah. Plus, uh, plus uh, Parsley, Sage, and Time are still pretty pissed off at her. Like a who shot JR <laughs> type shit. Yeah, and, o like and only James gets that joke. Yes. Well, I, yeah. I just get it. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. We have Ethan Page versus the Karate Man, who is also that, Ethan real, Page. Real quick, that's someone I thought <laughs> was going to leave Impact sooner. I thought he would have left before the Radical. Or Radical I think he actually honestly. did leave. He's a free agent. This will be his yeah, last match. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, the, well, okay. Yeah, the North yeah. are gone. So, gone. The North, yeah. So, Mitch, who wins? Ethan Page or Ethan Page? Is that are you are you trolling me? What is that? It's the Karate Man Ethan Page versus Ethan Page. Is he cloned or something or what? No, no. it's a, it's a, it's a it's a battle of multiple personality disorder. <laughs> I think we're the losers. That's what I know. Well, I I I know that one of them will turn the page. Oh, oh God! God. You, you, your jokes are giving me Corona <laughs> yeah, tonight. Holy that, fuck! That was that was the worst dad joke that, we will hold here tonight. That was clever. I liked it. If I, if yeah, this I, was I mean, like that, an internet show, I would have the meme of a guy jumping out of a ten-story window right now. You mad, bro? I mean, I, I, I'm, <laughs> sure, I, I'm sure the match is going to be a real page turner. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Get me my news! Kaliko, who wins? Eden Page or Eden Page? Can I say double count out? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, a double pinfall. Double pinfall, then I'll take that too. He Both puts, shoulders he, will be on the map. Double DQ, yeah, that'll work. He puts himself over and he. He puts the business over. You know, I'm really interested to see what happens in this because I kind of feel it's going to be, you know, 
we're going to dive into his mind, and this match is going to happen in his mind. And Do one of them is going to die. Somebody is going to get killed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, or I hope we're, like, I hope we're I, protected I mean, before we go into his mind. They, I mean, I heard they're digging up the corpses of Leslie Nielsen and uh, George Kennedy to uh, you know, solve this mystery. And I think only they would be the ones to figure it out. No, I'm. I mean, Impact got somebody murdered, so yeah, I wouldn't put it past them oh, to do a something. A lot like of that. sons of bitches on that show. They killed yeah. off Allie. <laughs> what about Allie? They killed her off in Impact Wrestling, and then she became the bunny in AEW. Miraculously. Mm, well, wrestling. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, if, it doesn't if, make if, sense. I, obviously. If, if we're being technical, then Adam Cole's also been murdered. Right. This is well, true. Well, that's yeah, different, different universes, but I guess technically. Next match, Bob Wyatt Massacre match. Eddie Edwards versus Sammy Callahan. Who wins, Mitch? Edwards versus Callahan. That's a good match. I like Cal. Okay, if this was about who I would pick, I I'm a I'm a Cal Sammy Callahan fan. I really like Callahan, but I just think Edwards will somehow pull it out. He's always the underdog, Victor. He seems to be, and he he, he deserves everything he has. I liked the Wolves back in the day when he was with uh Rich Davy Richards. Yeah, I miss Davy Richards. He had real talent, no, real pro potential. Really but yeah, I, I, so I think Edwards. What about you, Scooter? I mean, Edwards and Callahan, they they it's been done to death almost at this point. True. If if, you, if you've been keeping up, like they, they have been, I, I even know that, and I haven't been keeping up, and I know. I I mean, let the let the, let this be the end because Edwards is, in fact, both guys are probably coming to the tail end of their careers at this point. Uh, I think Callahan's got uh, some time. I think Edwards is in the tail end, but I, no, yeah, I think Callahan's got time. I think Callahan's got and, time. And I, I, I think Ed, Edwards is planning on taking some time off after this. Uh, Edwards so, is late thirties. Yeah, Callahan's early thirties, I think. Uh, Callahan's got yeah. a future. I think. So yeah, yeah. Callahan. Delico. If you're thinking about it like that, but I'm not. So that's why I picked Edwards. I'll go Callahan because he just got the contract extension. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So I'll go with Callahan. That makes sense. All right, Mitch. Old school rule six-man tag match. Eric Young, Dito, and Joe Doreen versus Cousin Jake, Rhino, and Tommy Dreamer. Who wins? Mm, the Eric Young side. Scooter. Oh man, God, I I I've seen Joe Doring once, and for some reason I thought he was the butcher. Yeah, he kind of looks like a cowboy version of um, Dexter Loomis. That's also yeah. Um. So, like a short hair Billy Gunn back in the day, kind of. Watch, I'm betting this is where we find this is where we find out That's who right. shot Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Oh, it could be. I mean, Tommy Trimble is in the match, so. Yeah, he's uh, not giving. And 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 my money's on Heath <laughs> to shoot him. <laughs> you know that that's a possibility. Cousin Jake gets replaced with Heath. And possibility. If any, if that happens, then we we probably know our answer to that mystery. And um, but yeah, yeah, Eric Young's uh, Dieter, like like Dieter. It's like it's he like dressed like the guy from Sprockets on Saturday Night Live. Wait, who's Dieter? Are you not saying Cody Diener? Are you? Who's Dieter? Google it. I. <laughs> he, he's saying Dieter. Dieter. Not code. Not Cody Dieter. Okay, I'm asking. Okay, thank you. Uh, I've never heard of Dieter. I really haven't. So that I'm just well, saying that goes to tell you. So, nobody else you know. has either. Don't worry. Okay, then. Thank <laughs> you. Kalika? 
whatever team Tommy Dreamer is on is going to take the loss. <laughs> oh. Ooh. And I hate to say that because I met him. But I know he's not that type of guy. No, he's, he's not the, the nice He doesn't care about the, he doesn't care about the wins and losses. He oh. cares about the entertainment. Uh, no, I take that back. It is Cody Diener. Oh, it is. Misled us. <laughs> Are you serious? You bastard! <laughs> Are you not joking? Or are you joking? Yeah, See, he uh, needs to. No, it is Cody Diener. It's just Diener. I taught. You said Diener. <laughs> I it, knew it. I was like, who the fuck is Dieter? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry. All right, next match. Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championship. Kira Hogan and Tasha Steeles versus Jessica Havoc and Nivea. Match who wins? Uh, okay. Je- you say, say those names again. Yeah. Kira go Hogan ahead. and Tasha Steeles versus reason, Jessica put- Havoc. And Navea. Uh, uh, oh shit. Uh, Jessica Havoc and Navea. I guess I don't know. I don't know. That, that that's toss up, honestly. Scooter. Yeah, it's, it's Havoc and Navea. Clearly. Oh, I guess it's clear to him. Shit. Uh, I mean, it's clear they've been trying to. Revolve around uh, Jessica Havoc in um, uh, it, it, instead of uh, it, to, to build up, you know, to take down. I, what I'm assuming is going to be have, our next yeah. match for the Impact just, Knockouts Championship. But I just haven't followed the storyline as much. But yeah. yeah. I was thinking more Kira Hogan and Tasha Steeles. They're more of a tag team duo rather than somebody that was kind of put together in Havoc in the rear. That's mm. just me. I mean, it's a. I mean, I will give it this. It is a Hogan I actually want to watch now. This is, this is Damn. I think Havoc. Yeah. I, I hate. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to say it like that. Okay, I just. I think Havoc in the rear are more like. Athletic centric, right? Like, I think they want to go with them. I just think that's what Impact wants to do. But uh, the other team is nice to look at, too. And they have I mean, great athletic uh, prowess as well. But yeah. I, I, will, I will say this that what's going on right now with the AEW women's title and with uh, uh, Abaddon uh, and. Kashida. Uh, Shida. 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 Uh, Boy, it, 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 Abaddon scares the shit out of me. I love it. I'm, I speak about someone shooting but, out of nowhere to the top. Out of um, I, I, wow, but well, that, she deserves it. That so. is that is w- really what I think. Uh, that should have been Jessica Havoc. Hmm. Who? Wait, wait, what? Say that again. What Abaddon would, say, would Abaddon. be replaced with Jessica Havoc. Oh. Against oh, if AEW signed her, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I. You, I mean, Jessica. Hall I mean, could, in the future, you could roles. still let Abaddon have this spot and then bring someone else in. But I, yeah. What say you, Kaliko? Who wins this match? Oh, it's a, it's a tough one. Um, I'll go with the Havoc Heaven crew. Havoc and Nevea. Because Nevea is heaven spelled backwards. Da, da. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think I'll go with them. I, I, it just seems more like a natural fit, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Kara Hogan does the busted challenge on TikTok and then they change their mind. Oh, my God. The fact that she does TikTok is a strike against her alone. Oh, you should. Sh- hey, man, look. <laughs> don't. don't. Don't be, don't, don't be, hey, man. Hey, hey, <laughs> man. I think TikTok is lame. Some of it. Some of it is lame. But lamer than FDR's leg. <laughs> Some of them are lame, but the ones that hit, boy, they hit. Mitch Mayhem. Just, you have to, you, 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 we were you saying have to come TikTok, through a lot of bullshit not, to find. We were saying TikTok, not TikTok. 
Ha <laughs> Shut up. Okay, let's now fix, go ahead. What now? Next match. Fix that. Impact. <laughs> Impact X Division Championship match. Manic versus Chris Bay versus Ray Razu. Wait, Manic versus who? Who was the second one you said? Chris Bay. Chris Bay. Uh, Manic, I guess? I Ma- Ma- Manic is TJP under a mask. Oh, oh Manic. TJ. 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 Sure. I mean, I think everyone knows Manic. <laughs> I mean, I TJ. knew what the Manic character yeah. was. I, I mean, just didn't know that they were using it again. Yeah, everybody knows Manic is killer spelled backwards. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a sad situation when TJP needs to be under a mask to actually get over. He was over before as TJP. I I, 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 no, no, no. no. I felt TJP could have been something. Because if they had a hat, when he when he had the player entrance, and they if they had a paired that with like the Ready Player One movie or something, like, yo, it, it, I, I get what he was doing, like connected with the video game generation. That would have been, right. that was a good thought. I felt like yeah, it was a good WWE idea. dropped the ball on that one. They did. That's true. They did. But... Because who doesn't play video games? They got WWE 2K, and then they got a guy who's a gamer gamer. And, and it works with Xavier Woods because he's fucking with G4. So, it, But that's a whole other story. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, I, I'm a, a teen of G4. I saw the old G4 back in the day. That's another thing, though. Yeah, I remember back when it was Tech TV. Or wait, yeah, in the, in the Bay Area. Yep. Yeah. And all they used to do is just show yes, the like uh, Las Brand. Vegas convention yeah. and shit. Yeah. Adam Sessler and Morgan yeah. Webb. And now I think they're going to be part yeah, of the new version. I oh, Adam Sessler and Kate Patello. Oh, okay. Bad well, I didn't cool. remember when it was Morgan Webb, but anyway. Scooter, who wins the match? You know, it, see- it seems like Impact has been trying to push. Chris Bay and like the world has literally said no we don't want him take him back and, sounds and like impact, a lot of things and, 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 <laughs> and impact is like no we lost our receipt <laughs> it, they're doing the and, Roman Reigns shove him down your but, throat uh, but yeah. at, the, at the same time it also seems like they're putting they're making trying to make uh, Rohit the new face of the X Division um, while trying to hide the face that could have become the face of the X Division. <laughs> so, uh, Rohit. All right. Can Chris Bay, because considering the fact they're going to fuck somebody that they really love over, at least they'll get that guy over. <laughs> Okay. Impact Knockout Championship match. Diana Perrazzo versus Taya Rockery. Who wins, Mitch? Good matchup. Really good matchup. But the, it's a championship match, right? Yeah. Diana's the and champion. It, it, Rob's going to say Perrazzo's the <coughs> champion. I'm going to go with Diana Perrazzo. She's been on a hot streak lately. All right. Scoot up. It's because one of the times where you really, you really want to say Ty Valkyrie. I, I really love Ty. I did too. I did too. But, yeah. but I, 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 I get there's something in in the uh, in the gut that's saying mm-hmm. yep. Ty could be done with Impact, especially because everyone that she, yeah, all, a lot, most of her friends left. And the fact that. <laughs> Uh, there is, there is a job waiting for her in, in AEW or in AEW. Yeah, and uh, I mean, most likely. Yeah, 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 can, can I remind you that he's all she's already been in the uh, the elite uh, videos with uh, uh, with Jurassic uh, Express. And you do realize her husband it's, is in WWE. Right, but she also has friends today. But there's also the the rumor going around that they also they want to put her with Maurice. And she also and has her, a cousin in I'm Ring of Honor. 
She's got people in yeah. both areas, so I wouldn't be surprised and, either way. And the WWE would want to capitalize and, you know, get her into that reality spotlight. Yeah. Uh, so, Parazzo. Parazzo wins. Yeah. Coleco? All that talking, just so y'all say Deanna. I feel like Deanna, because I, I'll put it this way, because the way that they treat the women's division, I think every woman that came in and got the title shot, with the exception of Tennille, got the goddamn title. And they usually hold it for a while. So to me, Deanna's going to be that person until they say otherwise. And, and Ray was the champion before Tennille uh, gets the belt. Well, Tennille never – like, she got a shot at the belt, but she I don't think she ever got the belt. Because, you know, well, usually – think about it. Impact always has – like, they have a record, a track record. Like, EY came in, won the belt first night. Deanna comes in, win the belt first night. They have, like, records of people winning the belt in their first attempt. Everybody except, like – to Neil, I don't know what the fuck they got with Emma, but fuck it. Any of who's, we're gonna go with Deanna because that's who they put their their farm on, and she's gonna carry the division for a bit. And, and let's not forget about how <laughs> someone they had a lot of stake in with Kylie Ray. How she it was a while ago now, but she left, and that that carried that pretty big me. hole in the. That was for huh? personal mm-hmm. reasons, so you know. I don't think uh, necessarily personal reasons, it. right? Yeah. Yeah, but right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he also, yeah. I, but Mitch is also bringing up the point because they, I think they were supposed to give her the belt that day. I'm just I saying, saying he brought up win a, the belt. I'm just saying it brought up a huge hole in 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 the in division. the division. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. All right, and that brings us to our main event: Kenny Omega, Doc Gallows, and Carl Anderson versus Rich Swan, Chris Sabin, and Moose. Who wins, Mitch? Okay, so uh, I'm sorry. Go one more time. Say that. Can you make on the, the good bu- brothers? Bullet Club versus. Well, I got. Let me let me say. It. Go ahead. Can you make on the good brothers versus Rich Swan, Chris Sapin, and Moose? Omega and the good brothers, but it's gonna be a good match. But Omega and the good brothers. What say you, um, Scoodle? Yeah. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be tough because I think after this, it, uh, the it's gonna cool off for a while between AEW and Impact. Um. So and. Storyline wise, Moose carrying around the TNA Heavyweight Championship and him wanting the Impact Championship. This from a storyline makes sense. So, what better way for Moose to get that shot than to you know, certify himself as, you know, it, you know, it, the you know, one of the three defenders of impact and essentially save Rich Swan or potentially set up so that Rich Swan can get the pinfall. Because honestly, I I don't think the big shock would be Omega winning. I think the bigger shock would be Swan pinning Omega. That's what I was thinking. Or maybe even a bigger swirl of most pins Omega. I don't know if that would happen. I th- <coughs> I think the bigger swerve would be Moose costing the match because he wants because he probably got beef with Swan. That would be unexpected. He does to me because yeah. to me him wanting but, wanting that title would su- would supplant can, defending TNA. Does you can only sense? do that though if you're ready to like. Straight up, turn him hard heel though, because then if you go that know, route, you're gonna have to bring out a you got to bring out a mean streak in him. I mean that that mean streak has already been brought out in Moose. Well, I mean, you're gonna have to highlight that, that, it. That, that, it's a heel. That's what EC3 was supposed to be essentially. Uh, but it, also EC3 it was, going forward. Was, was supposed to be that catharsis from Moose, but yet Moose is still dragging around that belt. So yep. 
Um, He's got the belt. And the problem is, is when they had, uh, and you're right, Scooter, because ever since when they did the heavyweight in the world, and it was like when Tessa got it, and I loved Tessa, but I just felt like they, by them not working it out with her, it just left this this floating thing, right? Uh, I mean, the the only other thing I could say is Willie Mac turning. Willie Mac's not even the match. Mm. Yes, but he could come in and cost Swan the match. But I think the point would either be to get because to me, yeah. Kenny's aiming at either Moose or Swan. And one of those two are going to have to figure out who's the alpha in Impact. That's why I think it's going to cause a rift because of the simple fact that they both feel that they're the leader. They they both looking at each other talking about, I'm the captain, and ain't nobody listening. And that's well, when Chris Saber goes, goes, I'm the captain now. <laughs> well, I'm that- the captain now. You know, this is a pin, uh, Impact Wrestling Pay preview against AEW superstars. Do you really think that they? I mean, put their the Good own... Brothers are not. The Good Brothers are not superstar or or AEW. So I would, if Impact wins, I don't see Kenny taking a pin. What are the motherfuckers is taking the pin? Oh. <laughs> That's Gallows and Anderson are taking the pit. I don't see Kenny taking the pit because of the simple fact that they're, if this is supposed to be set up for Kenny to be this belt collector, and I feel bad for fucking Austin Aries because they just took his shit and ran with it, but uh, if he's supposed to be this guy, he's got to be presented as like, yo, you may have beat us, but you didn't beat me type deal. But imagine, imagine the re- reaction from the people, for the people who didn't watch it, to hear the the the, the, the hardcore fans hear that Swan pinned Omega on pay per view. That's going to generate a ton of more buzz than if Swan, you know, pins Gallows or Anderson. I get that, but my thing is this: if Rich Swan is pinning him, it would cause Rich Swan to do, to go for the Impact Championship. Therefore, there's no need for him to put his imp- uh or no to him for go to the AEW Championship. Therefore, he doesn't need to put the Impact Championship on the line. Does that make sense? But Rich uh, Swan okay. is a fighting champion, and and uh, fuck that. Omega- That's fighting. Ch- that fine champion shit goes out the window. If I win, if I pin the champ, and I'm going and I'm going after the belt, why would I put myself in that danger? Yeah. Now, but can you make other... let's say put that one on the line and I'll Wait. put mine's on the line? Well, from different companies, you know, Wait. type thing. But but another scenario just popped into my head with Omega and Moose, and Omega takes Moose's. TNA belt. That seems more likely, but I still feel like they're gonna fuck over Rich Swan sooner or later. And I and, mean, and I hate to say that, but I mean, it's a there is a possibility of him winning the TNA championship, but that TNA championship means close to nothing. I mean, the never open weight champ, uh, the. Uh, New Japan Open Weight uh, Championship, the six man, means more than that belt. So I, I mean, mean, it's it, not it, saying it means, a lot. It means about as much as the IWGP United States Championship, doesn't it? Oh uh, well. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's still that's New Japan's fault because they should have fucking gave it to <laughs> Kenta and Juice two years ago. They're the ones who left that bitch. Uh, kidnapped and they're like, oh yeah, we ain't gonna look for it. Like Moxley just kidnapped and they're like, oh fuck it, we'll 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 see you. We'll see you. <laughs> and that will conclude our coverage of Impact Wrestling Hard to Kill. It's in the. It's gonna come out in a couple of hours, so 
Cat Start Show and CFR Predictions came true. I'm sure we will be reviewing it next week on the show, unless something better comes up, and then we'll, we'll cover that instead. <laughs> Until then, please like, subscribe, comment, book on YouTube and CastBox. Catch our interview with Jesse Nolans this Wednesday before Impact and, um, no, before AEW and NXT. And you can always join us on Twitter as well. We have an official Twitter handle for Wrestling With Entertainment now as well. We are at Wrestling With E if you want to know all the happenings going on with Wrestling With Entertainment. But as of course, you can follow me on Twitter at JamesJ993. Where can they find Kalika? Oh man, uh, I am Kalika. Trying to figure out who's going to win this Royal Rumble. I got to figure that shit out. Oh, that is another time. <laughs> Where can they find Mitch Mayhem if Mitch Mayhem tweeted? I think we lost Mitch Mayhem. I'm right here. I, I had my shit muted. Sorry. Uh, if you want to, for some reason, if anyone wants to uh, contact me, you can do so at Mitch Mayhem X on Twitter. So there you go. I'll hit you up. <laughs> that's, I got drink. I got drink. Oh I got, God. I got that's drink like a recipe. Pity contact. <laughs> no, I got. Hey man. Hey, you know what? I like no, to I, hit everybody up. I, I try I to do my best. Honestly, my my resolution this year was like to stay in contact with people that you know yeah. I talk to on a regular basis. Because yeah, I get, I you know, but that's a whole nother story. Never mind. But end the show. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and what can they find, Scooter? As always, at Scooter Dust and. Over the day of the UNB network at UNBS Wrestling. For Coleco Yachts, Mitch Mayhem, Scooter Dust, I'm James Shea, and this has been Wrestling with Entertainment. Yeah!